So, what exactly is a mobile hotspot? A hotspot, despite its small size and lightweight, can connect you to the internet at almost any place you can make a mobile phone call. Instead of being able to place or receive phone calls, a mobile hotspot uses the 4G or 5G mobile data network to connect to the internet and then broadcast the new, secure Wi-Fi network for use by you and your friends. As secure as your router at home, it can function for hours on battery power and has the option of Wi-Fi protected access 3, WPA3, encryption. Your data is even more secure while it's being sent via a mobile data network, thanks to additional encryption. What is the cost of a mobile hotspot? You have to purchase the hotspot, and then you have to pay for service indefinitely. The cost of the actual hotspot gear itself might vary greatly when purchased outright. For the time being, the most important consideration is whether the hotspot supports 4G or 5G connectivity. When it comes to the cost of 5G hotspots, you probably won't be shocked. Compared to 4G hotspots, 5G hotspots may cost as much as several hundred dollars merely for the hardware. On an installment plan, even the most costly hotspots may be paid for for as little as $15 a month, making them more affordable for consumers. If you can afford it, buying outright will almost definitely save you money in the long term, as it does with all technology. The cost of a plan is also affected by a variety of factors, including the amount of data you need, the speed of your connection, and whether or not you already have a contract with a certain provider. It's possible to get 15 gigabytes of data for $20 a month, up to 150 gigabytes for $80 per month, from Verizon, but only if you're adding a hotspot to your current service. For as little as $10 a month, you can get a hotspot from T-Mobile and use it with a prepaid plan, but the data allowance is just 2 gigabytes. Ultimately, you can anticipate to spend at least $20 a month for the privilege of a hotspot once you've paid for the initial charges of installation. There's an alternative to buying a mobile hotspot before you go out and buy one, you can use your phone as a hotspot instead. Most current smartphones are capable of connecting through cellular and creating a Wi-Fi network for other devices to connect to locally, much like a separate device. Using your phone eliminates the need for a second network account and reduces the likelihood of losing anything important. On the other hand, utilizing your phone as a hotspot might reduce the battery life by 50%. If your cell phone plan enables it at all, it might add a lot of additional costs to your monthly bill. It's a breeze to set up. As an example, this is for Android devices. Start with mobile hotspot and tethering in the settings connections section. Turn on the mobile hotspot switch to complete the process. You can now see the network name and password you need to connect to the network. The following instructions apply to iPhones and iPads. The personal hotspot area may be found in the settings menu under the home screen settings tab. Activate the option to allow others to join you in your activities. The name of the network is the name of your device, and the password is shown in the center of the screen. 3. Mobile data subscriptions are critical if you want to use your phone as a hotspot. Unlimited isn't as clear-cut as it seems because of all the tiny print. You can get as much hotspot data as you want with T$30 Mobile's Essentials, $40 Magenta, and $47 Magenta Max plans, but at 3G rates. Monthly 4G slash 5G hotspot data allowances range from 5 GB for the Magenta plan to 40 GB for the Magenta Max plan. Unlike the unlimited extra $40 per month plan, which offers up to 15 GB of hotspot data, AT&T's unlimited $35 per month plan does not. The hotspot data cap is increased to 30 GB with the unlimited elite $50 per month plan. As soon as that happens, you'll only be getting 128 kilobits per second. Verizon offers five hotspot options, but the Start Unlimited and Just Kids accounts, which both cost $35, do not include any hotspot data. In comparison to the $45 Play More and Do More Unlimited plans, the $55 Get More Unlimited plan offers 30 gigabytes of 4G slash 5G hotspot access. The hotspot speed lowers to about 600 kilobits per second when you cross the barrier. Using internet hotspots while traveling? If you can't wait to use your passport again, hotspotting is available almost anywhere a mobile data network is available. However, you may have to pay a fee. When it comes to international data roaming, T-Mobile takes the lead. 
In certain countries, 256 kilobits per second is the maximum speed that can be achieved. The monthly passport plan from AT&T is not an option if you want to use AT&T internationally. It offers either 2 gigabytes or 6 gigabytes of hotspot data per month for $70 or $140, respectively. There's also an international day pass option, which allows you to use your phone as a hotspot all day for $10.